I did learn more from instrumentalists just because there's way more instrumentalists that improvise than singers that improvise. But definitely um, listening to Ella and Chet, Chet Baker, um, definitely pushed me in that direction. You know, I mean, for with Ella, it was the first time I realized you could improvise without an instrument. Um, and so I fell in love with Ella, with her joy, her like her whoosh, her energy, and then with Chet Chet Baker, what he, what I fell in love with him was it just mellowed me down, and also the precision. He's so clear and so intentional in every note, and that that's something that I really aspire is to be very intentional in 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 my my melodies. Um, but yeah, listening to instrumentalists and, and mostly doing it, doing it is definitely a big school. Definitely learning repertoire is a huge, you know, because it's, it's like a, a language and, um, the more words, you know, the more you can make sentences and the, with the standards, it's like the more standards, you know, the more they are that you don't know that you actually already know because it's the same B section or it's the same X A section. And so then, uh, yeah, you start to recognize like all the ones we did today. I felt like they were all the same at some point. But uh, yeah, uh, learning repertoire is, is a great way to train your ear. When I first was listening to Ella and learning all her solos, then I wanted to do my own and I was wondering about syllables I was thinking what what syllable should I do should I do shubiru or do biwa it just didn't feel very natural her syllables to me you know because we have we're different people and we speak different languages and 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 one day I was at the Django Reinhardt festival in my village in Samoa and there was a concerts everywhere and I was running around the village looking for my mom because she had my keys and and I came down in this boat and it was the middle of the show and there was this guy playing the guitar and scatting Dudu Cuire and he was going he was doing the most ridiculous thing he was going like <laughs> and it sounded awesome and at this moment I realized okay you have to just not think about it because he, the reason it sounded awesome is not because he like practiced it and thought, oh, if I go, it's going to sound great. You know, it's just, it came out of him so like natural. It was so raw. So it sounded good because it was so honest. And so, and so I just realized you just have to not think about it and, and have fun. Just whatever comes the easiest, that's what you're working with.